Okay, chill. People need to chill. In a world like today, chilling is a hard thing for people to do. The number of Karens is only getting higher. Today's DIY is one that I think will help a lot of you guys out there. And a lot of you Karens. I don't think I've got Karen viewers. But if I do, this one's for you. Today we're making a chill pill. Mondays used to be my least favorite day of the week. Up until now. Mondays are when I start filming a new DIY. Mondays are when, when Spotify releases their new Discover Weekly. I need to find a girl that knows me as well as Spotify knows me. I discover Weekly just drops bangers week after week. Just crazy how well it knows me. I'm on my way right now to Staples. I have to buy poster tubing for this DIY. Sorry, one last thing, guys. Funny story about this spot. I went into Staples, and when I went in one time, like the worker at the front door like, looked at me. And when I went to go cash out, he's like, you're that guy from YouTube. And I was like, yeah, man. He's like, oh my God, can I have an autograph? It feels so good when you guys admire my stuff and then let me know when you see me in public. I love it, and you're always welcome to do that. I'm not gonna bite unless I'm currently already Already biting someone then maybe don't come up to me I guess somebody didn't buy these cue cards so he opened it up and I signed this cue card for him and I always think about that when I come to Staples like what a fun moment to have uh, anyways guys let's go to Staples stop number two bulk barn guys I don't know if you guys have this store in the US where you buy bulk anything I'm sure you have that in the States I just don't know what it would be like but here in Toronto we got bulk barn this is where we gotta get some candy Guys, it happens. I got home from the store. Charlie, you did it again. He, I'm telling, I swear, I'm not even joking. When I lay down with Charlie for like 15 minutes before he puts me to sleep with this spell, his little body cuddles in right beside you and then he turns his internal temperature up really, really hot so he's this really warm thing. He falls asleep in the nook of your neck. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's my baby. I just kind of wasted a lot of this afternoon. All right, let's get back to this DIY. Step two. What we need to do is we need to 3D print out a capsule or like a pill so that we can then make a mold of that. Let's do that. Pill capsule. Let's see what we got. No, no. These ones all look like pill holders. Oh, perfect, right here. This shape is exactly what we need. We need this guy. Okay, so I downloaded it. I popped it into a program called Cura. That's gonna basically make a file that the 3D printer can read. We're gonna print out the two halves right now. I'm gonna do a time lapse as always. It says it's gonna take 12 hours. Let's print it. And 10 hours later, we got this guy. One half is hollow. This one still has the supports in it. It just pops together like this, like that. You really need to sand it, get rid of these lines. The tops didn't really finish all that nice. So we're gonna sand that, try to get this as smooth as possible. Narrator Dan in the house. Okay, so guys, we are doing some, hold on. Stop the video, stop the video. Ooh. What up, ball, you jive targets? Welcome to Narrator Dan's house. I just downloaded this new copyright clear music and oh, this one slaps. Oh, oh, here we go. Welcome to Narrator Dan's house. It's one jiving that. Okay, that's enough. All right, sorry guys, uh, I'm a bit distracted here. It's been a long day of editing. I need to get back to the video. <laughs> So in this process, we were actually going through all the grits of sandpaper, starting at, I believe, 150, going up to 600. The whole idea here is we want to smooth it down so there's no 3D printed lines so we can get a really good mold. Oh my God. I just ran through all of the sanding grits. So this thing is like super smooth now. You don't even feel the lines at all. Step three. For step three, we we're taking our poster tube and we we're actually gonna use this to make the mold. We only need it to be about here. So the pill is actually gonna suspend inside the tube and we're gonna fill it with silicone rubber. I basically am suspending the capsule with clay and it just kind of drops in and sits like that. Then we pour the silicone rubber in the side. We have a mold. Let's mix up the silicone rubber and try it out. Part A and part B. Spray this. So just like every other video, we are doing a one for one mix here. So this is part A and then we do a same amount in part B. Mix it up because we only have six minute pot life and then it cures solid in 30. And just look at the definition in that elbow skin. Mm. And you're just gonna top it up on the side. Now you wanna make sure that the, the capsule on the inside is not touching any of the walls. So you gotta pour it on both sides. In 30 minutes time, this should be finished. It's hardened enough that it is staying and it's not floating at all. One of the best things about silicone rubber when you're working with it is it looks really messy right now. Been about 30 minutes, check this out. Nope. 
you could reuse the cups every time because all of this comes out in one chunk. So the whole cup will just come off in one go. Oh, it's so satisfying. After it's cured in 30 minutes, we're gonna cut open the poster tubing, which is why I got it, because it is disposable. Just rip it on off. All right, that, that's satisfying. Give me that, listen to that sound. It looks like a good mold. We just gotta get the piece out now. So I made a little cut on the side here. And that, that will allow us to grab the pill. All right, I'll admit it. I've yet to figure out a decent way to get items out of a rubber mold without having to break them. As you can see, I had to break this one. <laughs> this now looks like some sort of weird adult toy. I apologize. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> Let's go ahead and mix some resin. As always, we're using art resin. It's got no VOCs. You can use this inside, no harmful fumes. I highly recommend art resin. Actually, all the products we're using in today's video, resin and the dye is also gonna be from art resin. So we're making two batches of resin here. We're pouring hardener in the red cups and then resin in the white cups. And then we're just gonna mix them as we need them. Spray some mold release. Where it stands right now, we've made an adult toy. I promise the intention for this is to only be used as a chill pill mold. Let's go ahead and mix the first resin into the hardener. Mix for two minutes. Let's go ahead and dye this resin white. So what I'm doing right now is I'm filling up the mold halfway with white resin. We need to wait about two hours before mixing the next pieces in. Guys, it's been about two hours. This is like, ah, this is hot. For only two hours, it's almost cured, like hard. Really hard, but it's hot. So there's clearly a big chemical reaction going on in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the blue. We're gonna use blue resin tint. Now, when you're working with colored resin tint, you wanna start off light and then get heavier because you can go heavier, you just can't go lighter. Kind of like me during quarantine. Mix it in. If it's still not dark enough, go ahead and add in more color. And then we're gonna fill up the rest of our mold. Fully filled, we got white up to here. I had to add a little bit more, and I don't think this is gonna take all night to harden, just based off of how quick the white went. Either way, we're gonna leave it until tomorrow just to be safe. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Day two, let me close this. Yesterday I said that this is curing a lot faster than normal because it's in this mold for some reason. This was cured last night, probably three hours after I poured it. Let's see how this turned out. Please disregard the wrinkly shirt. I've been shipping and packaging all morning long, so some of you guys can get art if you guys want some of my art, link in the description down below to my Etsy page. And once again, struggling to get the actual resin piece out of the mold. I did get it eventually, but it is a workout every time. Oh my God. It's literally a workout every time I try to get a resin thing out of a mold. Okay, yes. Perfect. We have our capsule, perfect size. We have a lot to do today, actually. I'm gonna sand this down, then I'm gonna polish it. It's gonna be a busy day, that's for sure. More sanding. So I started to use a Dremel instead because it actually has two different grits that come with it. And I tried to sand as much of the air bubbles off of this as possible without actually deshaping the capsule. Deshaping, is that a word? Deshaping. And then we ran through all the grits of sandpaper once again, starting from 100, which is the roughest grit, going all the way up to 600, which was wet sanding. So with wet sanding, you actually wet the sandpaper and it keeps the dust down, but it also gets a very fine polish. This is what I want to show you guys. I recently just bought this. This is a buffing machine. That looks like I'm grinding a chocolate bar, but it's actually red compound that helps to polish. And I spent about 20 minutes just going back and forth with the red compound on the left side of the buffer machine. Once the first round of buffing is done, we go over to the green compound. Now this is gonna get a finer finish than the red compound. Just picture this like uh, a liquid sandpaper or like a, a clay sandpaper. This is gonna get us a very nice shine. Ooh, so nice. Then we did the molding process again. I took some wood glue and I actually glued the top of our capsule to a paint stick. Once it was dried, we then submerged it into our poster tubing again. Mixed up a new batch of silicone rubber and then poured it in to make another mold of this capsule. Can we point out how I nailed this pour? Like, did not waste any silicone rubber this time. And I got this nice fun stream at the very end. Take it in. Now it's time for the candy. First up, we got some red gumballs. Some blue ones. Reese's Pieces, or some people call it Reese's. I don't know why, but I like the colors. You make a nice retro chill pill with these colors. Classic sprinkles. Those metal ball candies that are like chocolate. 
Guys, these are so expensive. This is $23 for a pound. We need to do a test to see if any of the coatings of these candies will lose its coloring once it's in resin. First up, we're doing the blue gumball. It is the exact same as the red one, so we're only gonna do one, but stir it around. No, that'll last. Coloring's not coming off. Beauty, pass the test. Next up, sprinkles. Nice. Sprinkles pass the test. Silver balls pass the test. Reese's pieces. The resin is not dyed at all. All of our candy passed the test. All right, let's go make some fun chill pills. Now you might be thinking there's way too many sprinkles in this resin mix, but it has to be this way. Sprinkles sink to the bottom. So you need to have almost all sprinkles and just enough resin to coat each sprinkle bead. Sprinkle bead? Sounds kind of gross. We're gonna let this sit for like two hours and then we'll come back and pour our top color, which I think is just gonna be white. Guys, it is 11.30 at night. This has had more than enough time to solidify. So we're gonna go with metallic whites instead of just like a, a flat white. It almost looks like there's a little bit of glitter or sparkles in this. Oh my God, I nailed it again. Look at that. Guys, it's empty. Oh my God, I'm getting so good at this. We're gonna leave this and in the morning, we're gonna un undo it. See you guys for day three. Good morning guys, day three. Our chill pill has fully cured. All right, let's do this. Oh, oh, this looks so good. It worked. Oh, it worked. A lot of air bubbles. We got one friggin' rogue sprinkle right here. This is gonna take a lot of sanding and quite a bit of polishing, but we're gonna get a nice clear chill pill. So let's sand it. Now, in the off chance you guys actually do this at home, expect a lot of sanding. I actually used the Dremel here because I couldn't handle doing paper sanding the entire process through again. The Dremel actually has three different types of grit on the sandpaper setting. Once I got rid of most of the air bubbles with the Dremel, I went back to wet sanding with a 400, a 600 grit, and then we ended it with a 1000 grit sandpaper, just to get it as smooth as possible. Brought it over to the buffing machine, did that whole process again, red compound, green compound, and got it as polished and shiny as possible. The only thing is the compound tends to get in the air bubble holes, so I took a toothpick and just cleaned it up a bit before finishing it. This is the font I'm going with. This is called T-Star. It just reminds me of what you'd see in a prescription bottle, so we're gonna go with that. Ah, the cricket. My favorite machine. We are now cutting out the word chill in two different size fonts. Once it's done, you peel back the vinyl with the letters left. This was a very detailed font, so some of it came up. We're gonna go with this one. It's gonna look a little bit better. It's not gonna look so overwhelming. Then we're gonna grab some transfer tape and you wanna make sure the transfer tape is stuck to all of the vinyl letters before peeling it back like this and popping it on our chill pill. Now I have learned a trick when you're peeling back transfer tape, you wanna almost pull it back on itself because the lettering won't come up that way. To protect the lettering and the rest of the pill, I covered it in triple thick diamond high gloss glaze. That is the official title. And I got this nice finish. And there we have our chill pill. Let me ditch these real quick. So that was a fun DIY. It was time consuming because there's probably the most steps out of any DIY I've done with this guy. I will be posting some of these. I'm not selling like mass selling them. Whichever ones I make, I'll sell those individual one of ones. So if you guys are interested, go over to my shop, favorite it, and then you'll be notified when that goes up. Or if you don't have an Etsy account, just follow me on Instagram and I'll post it on there in my story. And then it's the first person to see it that wants to buy it. There'll be a link to swipe up in my story. But that was a fun one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Come back every Wednesday. For you Karens out there, this one's for you. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. See you guys later.